Thank you for joining me. Many in Washington share the blame for U.S. failures in Iraq, but none more so than U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. From the beginning, it has been his baby and his battle plan. As Secretary of Defense, he alone shoulders the responsibility for the endless parade of disasters in Iraq. Donald Rumsfeld stands front and center. He is without question the man who lost the war. U.S. ground troops prepared for the invasion of Iraq by racing their Humvees across the Nevada desert. They did not prepare for an insurgency as they were told not to expect one. Instead, they were told they would be greeted as liberators. Donald Rumsfeld now steadfastly insists that no one at the time could have predicted the size or intensity of the current insurgency. A grave error indeed. Donald Rumsfeld ignored the first rule of combat. Never underestimate your opponent. The dead keep piling up. Iraqi hospitals are overwhelmed with casualties and still no running water or reliable electricity. Violence continues to escalate with August of 2006 proving to be the deadliest month in Iraq since the invasion began. There are no winners. According to the U.S. Pentagon, the streets of Baghdad were safer than the streets of our own nation's capital prior to the invasion. Sadly, such is no longer the case. Still, Donald Rumsfeld continues to willfully send our young men and women into a hostile environment to be maimed or possibly murdered. He has shown little remorse for the mess he has made. True to form, he refuses to appear weak, when in fact his conduct has been nothing less than cowardly. Indeed, failure in Iraq is not an option. It's a fact. One need not strain to hear the fat lady sing. She is well through the second refrain of her swan song. Through acts of arrogance and pride, the cause is lost. There will be no victory nor vindication. The situation cannot be salvaged, and for that you can thank U.S. Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. Or perhaps it would be more accurate if we simply refer to him as the man who lost the war. Thank you for joining me. I am B.T. Cooper.